what's up everybody welcome to north fort myers at night north fort myers is north of fort myers obviously and it's also to the east of cape coral um, it's not as nice as cape coral and um just like anywhere else you have nice people but you also have to be honest and admit that it has some issues here uh, stemming from uh, a problem that this, a lot of the residents um, are kind of struggling with a few problems not everyone there's great families here raising their families the right way there's great people but man this community's struggling at times so let's go out there and see North Fort Myers by the way it's nine o'clock at night. My temperature reader on my car says a hundred degrees. It's not a hundred degrees. That's how car. That's how my car thinks it is. And it's so humid right now that it could probably quite literally feel that way. It does. I'm actually gonna put my windows up because I can feel like hot air and humidity, just humid air, just coming into the car. So this is not a fancy area. Uh, the area is actually known for uh, vagrancy and homelessness and uh, all the package that comes with. Um, I actually have to look for this car. He has the right away. Oh, they had a stop sign. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if they had a stop sign. So, yeah, and unfortunately, the area does have a bad reputation, but that doesn't mean every person that lives here is bad, of course. Of course, not everybody's not bad. Everybody's not struggling. Has it got better? I've been monitoring this city for a while. Every time I come to Southwest Florida, I come here, and I keep hoping that one day, you know, this place will be better because I do know a lot of people here that are great people, and they don't deserve to have to walk over somebody on the ground or their leftovers after, uh, you know, they do whatever. They're just trying to walk into a restaurant. What is that girl doing dressed like that at night, yo, for real? That's not a casual walk, man. And that's the thing. That's a hard. That's even a hard thing to see here in Florida. This city has. Some, it's a Friday night. I mean, it's it's it's. I'm not saying that's what's going on there, but what do you? That's what. I mean, I mean, uh, I've nice seen place. the videos from California and all that, and I've been to Orlando, and that's what that looks like. It might be wrong. But either way, if, if it's not what you're trying to do, it could be confused for that. So just be careful out there, people. Anyways. The area is just, it's known for just all these, you know, problems, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to drive into, well, into the city of North Fort Myers, the area of it, and scope it out. And I'm on a trip hoping that it one day gets better. We'll find out. I mean, Florida, the place that changes so quickly. I mean, uh -oh, the place can be clean one day, next day changes up completely um, it's just a very fascinating place do you remember where that gas station was mm -hmm. where we interviewed the, the kid the kids at no because that would be like that's a hot spot I know it's here for North Fort Myers all right so we're going to get on the main streets here in a second these are just a this is just a cross street here this isn't really a more exciting area I'd know it if I saw it though Oh, no doubt. It might be up here at the corner. It, might, no, it was on the north side of the city. It was like kind of like a little bit off the outskirts. But you don't know. Like, these people move around. Like, one plaza might get be, be the spot for a while, and then mm -hmm. that gets burnt down, and then they move somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of find the spots. It's not always going to be the same spot, because this, especially now with the news, the news, you know, NBC, they try to make a big scene out of everything. So they'll burn out a spot once the news comes through and all that. Then that spot gets burnt out. Then you got to keep it moving, you know? So, so, you know, like the spots where people hang out and, you know, do those things and this and that are constantly moving. Uh, this area got attention in the news recently, somewhat recently, when um, a group of bikers attacked a vehicle. The person in the vehicle, it got really nasty. It was all over the news and it became a huge mess. Um, and there were several arrests. Um, basically, it was two bikers. That got into a physical altercation. It was a road rage gone really wrong, and uh, 
the bikers went on to kind of really give this guy the whoop of his life. And I, I saw the video, I was like, the guy said he was a victim. I was like, nah, bro, you instigated that. I wouldn't call it a victim. Oh, we're supposed to go to a laundromat, bro. Are they open late? See if they look, go on the other front and see if there's a laundromat in our in the area we're staying in. They're usually open late, aren't they? Not that. Or, you know, we're we're also crossing that way. Is there a really nice suburban area where we could, that has a laundromat so we don't have to do it in Lehigh? <laughs> just, uh, I hope we don't have to do this in Lehigh. <laughs> There's a Puerto Rican restaurant right here. Usually these Puerto Rican restaurants have incredible food. I don't think they're closed right now. We did Cuban today. We met with some friends and family. But I, I'm a fan of Puerto Rican food. Um, and it's hard because I grew up on Cuban food. But I also enjoy Puerto Rican, Dominican, you know, all those foods. So when I find a spot, like, you know, it's hard. So we're not quite in the wild parts of Norfolk Myers yet. Um, I kind of wanted to start over there where we were. There's a 24-hour laundromat on Hanson Street. In Fort Myers? Yep. <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Hanson Street on a Friday night? Somebody's getting stabbed. It might actually be pretty nice. No, but I don't know. It, it, it it's looks not. really nice. It Does is. it really? What are the reviews like? On Hanson Street in Fort Myers, kid? Come on, Lee. Yeah, uh, not Wait, really. When we stayed in Fort Myers, didn't we use a laundromat then? Okay, so I'll be honest with you guys. We're staying in the area of Lehigh Acres with friends and family, possibly. And it turns out, if you didn't know this, that they're on well water. And the well water smells really crappy. The last time we washed our clothes there, it smelled pretty bad for several days. Even after we washed it, because it's... Oh, look at this shit. Have Cadillac now? Oh, man. You guys got to see this Cadillac, bro. It's right next to me. It's got candy blue... Is it the Cadillac we used to have? It, it might be the Cadillac that we used to have. Remember we sold to the drug dealers? Oh and, and... Jose. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Too many details? Yeah. <laughs> I used to have a Cadillac many years ago. And some dope boys bought it off me. That's an interesting story. This shopping plaza usually has some interesting activity. And he, this area here, you know, we're in the hot spot here. We're stuck. There's a laundromat right there. Maybe it's, the, can we, can I drop you off in the North Fort Myers laundromat? You do laundry? Uh, no. Laundry? Come on, dude. You'll be fine. I'll give you one. I'll give you the AK. <laughs> I don't want that. I probably, you'll be fine, dude. Like, you look really trashy. Like, you're really fat and you're like from Alabama. Like, you'll be all right. Ow, sorry. You'll be fine, dude. You'll fit right in. Dude, you'll be fine. Can you please? You do like, you do, you do, you go to the laundromat and you do that. But besides, we still have to upload videos and the signal here is really good. So, you're telling me that you want me to hang out with you while we do it? Okay, you get started. I promise I won't go far. Please? Jose? You're scared? No, it looks like... It doesn't, what doesn't matter what it looks like? It's a laundromat. No You're not listening. Oh, wow. Yankee Doodle came out of you right there. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yankee Doodle Delight right there, man. What's, why are you like... Because you're not listening. I'm not. You're scared. You found one that was better. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you this. Well, you have a more interesting experience in your life than using a laundromat in North Fort Myers. You know what your problem is? You're entitled. I know a lot of my subscribers right now are really mad. They're thinking, you would actually leave Katie there. You're putting her in danger. What about the people that live in this neighborhood? They have to go there. Are we better than them? Let's just try, flip that back around. I just, I just pulled a trick on all of y'all. Okay. If you're watching right now, I know how you feel. You feel like, oh my God, you would put your wife in that situation? You're a total jerk. There's people that live here and, that, and that's the only place they can walk to. Are you better than them? I'm not trying to be a jerk to you now. <laughs> like I'm being to Katie. But I want you to think about that. I want you to think about the people. And you too, Katie. <laughs> I want you to think about the people that live in this neighborhood and that is where they have to take their families that is where they can walk to that is their neighborhood that's the ice cream place they have to go to that's a, that's a laundromat they have to go to and those problems that are there 
Let's make let's do a live stream from it, man. We, we will finally get die. <laughs> Remember this flooded parking lot from last time we were here? Yeah. This is like apocalypse. Apoc apoc Are you gonna hear me? That's out? not a lake. <laughs> that is not a lake. That is a flooded parking lot. I'm sure there's a gator Actually, swimming around there. Here. If yeah. you were like on 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 that stuff, wouldn't this be like the this is like majestic place to be like I could see some guy running on through some that water. Stuff or, yeah. <laughs> it looks majestic. Yeah. Like for a person that's like vagrant, let's get out of here before somebody attacks our guard. Mm-hmm. I actually don't feel dangerous here because I, I've met these people and I actually don't feel like I to me right yeah I don't feel like these people are dangerous I feel like they're just they're super vulnerable is the way I feel about them because I've met them and I've talked to them and that's the one thing that makes me different you can have an opinion about homeless people right let's say you have an opinion about homeless people right you live in Omaha Nebraska and you never really talked to a homeless person you know, you've never actually sat down on these. I've sat down on these sidewalks and talked to these people. So it's hard for me, a person who's done that, to kind of feel compassion for a person who would not do that. Like most people would say, I would never go to a laundromat nor Fort Myers. Actually, we might get bug. We might get bug. That would be the place to catch bad bugs because there's a lot of homeless people in motel stairs that would actually do the laundry. Yeah, that's a good point. Dude, this place is like a pop to look. A pop. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Pop to look, a pop to look. A Olympic. Olympic. Crackhead Olympic. No, that's not the word. The yeah. Crackhead Olympics. Well, this place would win the Crackhead yeah. Olympics. Uh, yeah, I, I would say so. But Jose, uh -huh. it says mm -hmm. if you um, wash it with sure. detergent and on the rinse cycle, I'm put it. I'm not. Going to put my clean Alabama clothes in a Lehigh Acres washing machine that so it smells like freaking well water. That's not, not I don't I don't care. I'm not putting my clean Alabama clothes in a dirty Lehigh Acres washing machine full of Lehigh Acres well water. So my clothes can smell like a dead raccoon. I got home and I was like, is there a dead raccoon underneath the house? And I was like, no, there isn't. There's clothes that was washed in Lehigh. Keeping it real. My water, I could wash water in the creek in my backyard and it would smell better than the water from Lehigh. It's not, not hating, I'm not even hating on Lehigh, I'm just being real. <laughs> back to my uh, crackhead rant. Yes, forget about the crackhead rant. Let's go back to the coat to the dope dealer about our Cadillac. That's an interesting story. We've sold several Cadillacs, so it, it wouldn't really matter. It wouldn't. So we had this pimped out Cadillac. I'm talking like, it was the same color as that one. Like, beautiful baby blue. I think it was a few years older. Like, it was like a DTS, C I don't know, whatever the crap, the DeVille Cadillac. DeVille, I mean. it was when it was still DeVille. Was it DeVille or DTS? I don't know. DeVille. I don't know. It was one of these Cadillacs, that style. Um, and it was pimp and I had 22s on it. It was fresher we than put a put rims on that car? Oh yeah, we did, remember? I got a really good deal on these rims. It had 22s on it. We didn't have that car for too long. No, we didn't. That's why I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. That car was fresh. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to sell the car because I wanted to buy a truck for work. And it turns out that this... Uh, Blue stop sign almost hit us. Go ahead and hit me. Don't give me that face. Mm -hmm. You blew a stop sign. Geo Metro. No, that's a Chevy Cavalier. Mm -hmm. That's like crackhead Olympic stuff right there. Yeah. Cavaliers and Chevy mm -hmm. Metros. <sighs> well, anyways, you know, the, we had like two people show up. We put on Craigslist. And two people show up at the same time to buy this thing. One of them was a dope boy, and the other one was like five Spanish people who were trying to pay me in pennies. In pennies, nickels, dimes, I think fives. They Why went to get Dude, this more place is so piggy trashy. Banks. The only thing in this gas station right now is a Harley Davidson. Mm -hmm. Where the cops heading to? Ambulances. 
We should try to follow ambulances here later, bro. There's always ambulances here. Most of the time, it's probably for somebody OD. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess. Man, I can't believe how beautiful the, the night vision. Why is this just randomly a Harley at this abandoned vape store? Is it abandoned? Oh, there they go. Well, anyways, they show up trying, and, I, and I'm a man of my word. Dr. Cream Relief giant billboard. This place is so trashy. And like again, there are great people here. There are like really like Alabama good people here. Like really good people. Can I please leave you at this laundromat? You wanna go? Okay, so have you found another one? No. So why are you not looking for one? Now you're stuck with this one. No. Here you are. Cause I gave you the option to look for one, you didn't do it. Anyways, you know, I, I told these people, look, you got like 10 minutes. If you can't come up with the money, I'm not going to sell you the car. I'm going to give you like 10 minutes. Cause I'm, and I told the, the guys, I was like, hey, bro, look, the guy, you know, the guy that had the cash, he had wads of hundreds. He's like, man, screw these broke. <laughs> they were like, man, screw these broke people, man. I'm trying to get, this car's pimping. Like, man, screw these broke, stupid people, man. We got cash money ready to go. He's showing me like all these wet stacks of hundreds and stuff. Come on, man, I'll give you whatever you want for this car. This thing is pimping. It was, man. That Cadillac was fresh, clean, low miles, beautiful leather interior. I'm talking, you know, 22s. And this guy was like, yo, forget these stupid people with pennies and dimes and stuff, bro. I got cash money right here, bro. I'm a dope dealer, man. I got my hustle on. Screw these broke people. Come by, have a real, see what real money's about, you know? Uh, look, man, I'm a man of my war and they were here first. So I'm gonna give them 10 minutes. If in 10 minutes they don't have their act together, they gotta go. So I gave them 10 minutes, and sure enough, they're still counting pennies and quarters. And then they, they brought had, in like, more. They had buckets full of pennies and quarters. I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna sit here and take $2,800, whatever the crap it was, on pennies and quarters. You gotta be out of here. That's not gonna happen. So, okay, that's, that's all. Hey, bro, I gotta leave. The boy pulls out a big stack of hundreds. He wanted to give me like more than what I asked him for. I was like, bro, you could just pay what I asked. He paid for, drove off, happy as pimpin'. He was in from, he was from Southwest Florida. I'm not gonna say what city he was from because whatever. But it was, it was just funny how my Cadillac went to a very happy dump dealer. He was like, man, screw these broke people. You got no real money. <laughs> oh, my Southwest Florida. I tell you, you put something on Craigslist, you're, you're gonna get interesting stuff happen. Don't think you're just gonna drop something on Craigslist and it's gonna go sweet. It, it ain't. How far that way can you go? They're more like trashy businesses going that way. Oh, there's a few, aren't there? We'll go that way because we got a red light. I don't want to wait out a red light during the video. So we need a place. Can you continue looking for a laundromat, please? Since I, I you, am, like, and the know. only ones are in Fort Myers. In the hood. Yeah. What time is this one open to you? This may be your only option. It looks like it's already closed. Well, it's not because it's open. Look at the schedule and figure it out. Hello, Wapadia. Yes, that's their clothes. They're open. The whole yeah. thing's cop right there, too. Friday till 9. It's 9 o'clock. Yeah. Nothing like slamming on the gas in front of a cop to go through a red light. Mm -hmm. Is he coming this way? No. Oh, man. I haven't had any encounter with Lee County Sheriff's in so long. I almost feel like they're neglecting me. Oh, uh, keep neglecting him, please. <laughs> Tell you my experiences have been great. They haven't been as bad as some of my other friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you think they're harsh on you, man? Look at my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't right, man. Where's this one at? Uh, don't talk about it, but you can figure out what it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can you please stop looking for crack houses and figure out what town the laundromat's open to? So the when we were at the hotel, didn't we use? Didn't we like, oh, we're stuck out red light now. Well, that's what it is. You know, Ford, that's the, like the most expected. This light's gonna take forever. Unless there's not any, I'm is there. No, this is the last thing before the bridge. The bridge is right there, North 
Fort Myers ends and the city of Fort Myers starts not too far ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to show for a minute. Lots of glare. Give me a second, y'all. This light sucks. Oh my gosh. Bro, this light sucks. So I don't know if I have a laundry mat that's open. I'm sure in Lehigh there's one open all night. Lehigh, at least in Lehigh where it's Spanish people like like us. They're not gonna have hopefully they're not gonna have too many bed bugs. I didn't even think about that. The washing machine. Can you even imagine the things that have been in that washing machine over at Mars? Just the thought alone. Oh my gosh. This guy's gonna blow the red light, is he? Yeah, he yeah, almost did. Bro, your attitude, you got people that watch these videos that live in Alabama. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure somebody in New York understands why you're being a Yankee, but, you know, people in the South do watch these videos, and you are kind of tremenda guaperia y todo, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, guaperia, right? Continue on North Cleveland Avenue for two miles. So that is the only one we're talking about, Joe? This one's here in North Fort Myers, and it's open 24-7. What are they rated? 4.3. That's not bad. It's around this main road. Continue on North Cleveland Avenue for one and a half miles. Almost. Can I just drop you off there and finish my video? Oh, you'll be able to do your whole video while this is going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I just drop you off there and like drive away safely and hope that they just swallow you up? Yeah. Please don't do that. You're afraid? Just say you're afraid. You're afraid of North Fort Myers. I don't like being alone. From a, a girl who grew up, who went to Dunbar High School. Which one is that? No, I just don't like her. being alone at night. Kidding. A girl who went to Dunbar High School, right, is afraid of a laundromat in North Fort Myers. never said I was afraid. So this one's got to gotta be open. It may not be on, on the... Okay. This one's open till one. That one was only open till 9 o'clock. This one here? No, the one that I'm directing you to is open 24-7. This one's open. There's people there. They're, like, they're not going to close that. Mm -hmm. There's cars there. And then, like, it's, it's open. Like, there's usually an attendant, there, right? Mm -hmm. The attendant will tell you if it's too late or not. I like this one because it's like, really hot. So you want to go to this one we're going to, right? I would prefer to do it at, your, at someone's Bro, house. I've already told you it's nasty Lehigh water. Okay. It stinks like a dead possum. I'm not putting my clothes. Why would you make your clothes smell worse after you're done washing than before? No, no, no. You put in vinegar and baking soda and it takes away the smell. Bro. Turn Lehigh water. North Miami Trail. This is like my biggest diss on Lehigh so far. Yeah. <laughs> but it's true. I'm being real with y'all. That water in Lehigh it from a well stinks. It smells like stinks. eggs. It smells like brown eggs. Machachuchi. No, it smells like scrambled eggs. The car from us is from Massachusetts. I said it right. I knew I'd figure this out. I mean, I've, I have overcome lar larger words. Say it again. I don't need to show off. This is just a Oh, uh, yeah, really. It's just a small. Say it again, yes. No, it's just a small person. Massachusetts. Thing. <laughs> Screw you. I had it right the first time. I don't need to say it again. Massachusetts. Continue on North nope. Miami Trail for one mile. You forgot the T's. Massachusetts. Nope. Nope. You said it wrong. You said it wrong. I think you're saying it wrong now. All that time you were making fun of me saying it wrong, and now I learned how to say Massachusetts, and you don't know how to say it. Because I'm better than you. You just want to be better than me. I know. Oh, yeah, right. Really this gas station sometimes is hot right here, but it looks pretty quiet, huh? Yeah. Where is Florida? We're going to have to go to Newport That's Ridge. One, yeah. Or Kissimmee. Yo, if you're watching, I'm, I have to do Kissimmee. I know everybody's like, you haven't done Kissimmee. You haven't done Kissimmee. Will. You haven't gone back to Jacksonville. Like, you haven't done this. You haven't I'm done that. I'm on the road every day, bro. Oh, I don't want to go back to the same places I've seen. My, I want to see new places. No one wants to be in Florida all the time if you've lived in Florida. Yeah. Greetings from Florida. Yeah, I don't want to be here. Why'd you say that? Right there. 
know what we should do? Mm -hmm. We should get like rings from Florida shirts mm -hmm. and hand them out to all the homeless people in the whole entire state. Yeah. And put them all on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I have, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't know what it is. This reminds me of like a high elevator. In a quarter mile, use the second from the left lane to I turn bet you this place is going to be fresher than the other one. Yep, I can see that. Well, actually, yes, this shopping plaza is horrible. But we'll see some great stuff. Like, we'll, 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 oh, yeah. There was it. one, uh, I was reading reviews for one in Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. On, it was like, oh, this is the most fun I've ever had going to a laundromat. Oh, yeah, dude, going to a laundromat in the hood. Yeah. You get, even in Auburn, was actually pretty fun. Yeah. We went to a laundromat in Auburn when we were living in the hotel. Yeah, you're, you're staying with me, by the way. 800 feet, turn right. I'm not kidding you. This actually, this actually. Oh, you expect me to get out, but you will get out there? There's three people hanging out. There's chill out. There's intersection. Yeah, that's why you're This actually looks trasher than the other one. But if you're watching me, I know what you're thinking. Jose... You're making Katie hang out in this horrible, dangerous place. I'm a jerk, right? Well, let me break it down to you this way. Come on, dude, go. Yeah, if you hadn't slowed the crap down, we wouldn't have a problem, would we? Another one behind me is mine. What a bunch of freaking jerks. This one slowed down for who knows what reason. Dude, this place is going to be trashier than the other one. I know what you're thinking right now, Jose. You're making Turn Katie. Right. You're putting Katie right. in a dangerous situation. Bro. We're not any better than the people that live here. Actually, I have found people right, in ghetto, trashy places to be better people than people in rich places. And I ain't playing this. Uh, this this may not work worse. This is a lot trashier than the other one, by the way. Let, I'm, wow. let me just take all that back. Uh, let me just take all that back. Just people, let's see what the environment looks like. It doesn't matter what the environment looks like. Okay. Unless somebody's getting actively shot or fighting to break into a car. At the exact moment we're here. Oh my gosh. We're doing this. We'll be alright, dude. We'll be alright. Together. Oh, well, uh, you going in by I ain't going in there. I ain't going in there let's without like. you. Let's go. Let's go. It doesn't matter. I'm not like, I'm not afraid of ghetto people. I'm afraid of rich people. Yeah. Poor people will take your wallet. Rich people will take there's way too many people here. But that means they're gonna keep it clean and, and all that. And this, let's say these people are working in Spanish, maybe. I don't, I don't think they're working. <laughs> okay, go down there. I'll stay here. I promise I'll only trust me. There's enough entertainment in this parking lot for me not to want to leave. Okay, right. Dale, me help, bro. I, I, we're gonna be here all day then. Dale, what thing? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You're so wrong, you know that? You're a very judgmental person. I'm gonna do it. Give me the money. Give me the money. Hey. You have to carry it like he does. Okay, I'll carry it. Get the money. Stay in the car until I, I'll carry it. Okay. How much money do I need? Where's the bathroom? Good. Grab the detergent. Grab it. Grab it. Okay. Anyways, like, for real though, yeah, you ain't better than nobody, people. Like, I know a lot of you guys feel that by putting Katie here, 
I'm a king in danger, king in danger. Like, yo, king in danger of what, bro? Like, there's people that have to live in these neighborhoods. This is where they go to. Like, are we better than them? Just because they're poor, we're better? No, I don't. I, I don't have that mentality. Anymore. We have to disagree, we have to disagree. I live in Alabama. We agree we're going to live there, you know? Like, we live in Montgomery, Alabama. You know what I mean? Not exactly. We went from Naples, Florida to Montgomery, Alabama. I feel like. To me, poor people were going to treat me better than wealthy people. And it's worked out. I'm living way better than I was before. So it's definitely not untrue that um, that many times um, being around other people that are poor, you can do a lot better than being around rich people. Because sometimes just because they have money don't mean they're going to help you get it. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. But I know a lot of my subscribers, especially those that come from a wealthier background have been really upset with me in the past in the videos. Like, why would you take her to a laundromat in North Fort Myers? You're putting her in danger. In danger of what? In danger of not being a snob? In danger of ex meeting new people? What am I putting her in danger of? Like, there's literally people who live in inner city Birmingham. That's where they go to a laundromat. Those are the gas stations they use. Like, I live in the suburbs, but I by no means consider myself better than somebody who lives in the hood, who lives in the city, or whatever the crap. We're all the same. And just because I live in a suburban wooded area out in the middle of nowhere doesn't mean that I can't come to a longer mountain city when I'm traveling. You know what I mean? Like, because of fear? What? I, I grew up in Cuba. There's no laundromats in Cuba. In Cuba, where I grew up, if you wanted to wash your clothes, you had to wait for rainwater, which actually is way better for your clothes than regular water. I don't know if y'all knew that. Rainwater is the best thing for you. You know, I'm, I'm, I know people from other countries that actually catch rainwater because it's that much better for washing your clothes, but it takes a lot of time. It's, it's easier on your clothes than, than, than the way we do it. Anyways... I have found dramatically better results on my clothes and a lot of other people have told me that. Anyways, it's like this, y'all. Like, for real, I'm from a place where if you want to do laundry, you're pretty much going to have to catch some rain water and do it by hand. Well, here you have machines. You have electricity, you got air conditioner up in there, you got fans running. Come on, bro. You got US dollars to put in the machine to make the machine work. Get out of here with that garbage, man. You don't know what poverty is. You know? But I, I do know right now that some of my subscribers watching this video are definitely gonna disagree with me. Like you're putting her in danger. Taking poor white woman to the poor white woman what, bro? You know what I mean? But for real, y'all think about that a lot. You might not agree with me on this video, but let it sit in. Let it. If you still don't agree, if, we, if you've heard me give you this explanation and you still don't agree with me, sleep on it. Think about it for a while, because I've had it happen a few times where a few of my subscribers, especially those from uh, progressive places, quote unquote progressive places, somehow feel that by taking Katie and Dad to the hood and by Going to a lot of mad in the hood by eating at a hole in the wall restaurant. We're putting our family in danger, bro. I'm from Cuba. And I have found a hundred times over that a place like a little laundry mat like this in the hood, you might have more people give you a smile than you will in a rich suburban place. Last time we went to a laundry mat, I think it was in Auburn, Alabama. Very nice, clean, wealthy area. And we met people that were amazing, so don't matter to me. Anyways, whatever. You don't have to agree with me on that, but it is what it is. And if you don't agree with me, just sleep on it, and you may never agree with me, but just try to see other people's points of views. Um, because we are now living a nice suburban lifestyle, but we came from, you know, Katie went to Dunbar. I'm like, Katie's afraid, you know, we kind of argue a little. She's afraid of kind of afraid of going to this laundry I can kind of I know her it's just not comfortable she went to Dunbar High School she was the only white girl in Dunbar probably one of the few white kids in Dunbar High School you know what I mean 
Anyways, it is what it is. Shout out to everybody watching the video. Let me hear your thoughts on the pants on the little subject. That's a little, that's a little touchy.